everyone, this is Debbie from Project 39 Mini Albums on the Night Not Too Shabby channel. I am going to show you how to make these adorable little gift tag shakers using the Not Too Shabby Donut Fun stamp and die set. So let's get started. I've already stamped and used the die to cut out four of the donuts. And then I'm taking three different shades uh, for each color of my alcohol markers. I color it with the lightest tone, then go around with the medium shade around the edges to shadow it, and then go with a smaller footprint, so to speak, with the darkest shade. And then I am done with my coloring. All right, we're going to make the sentiment. I cut a piece of cardstock three inches tall. It's probably eight and a half inches wide. And I'm getting my embossing buddy. I know I have another one on my desk. Here it is. My friend Annette made this for me. And I'm going to just get some of the cornstarch that's on here out. Now, this is a sticky blue mat. Um... I'm experimenting with it, seeing if it helps hold things down, but just to be sure, because it's losing its stickiness, and the more I use my embossing buddy, the more the stickiness goes away, but I'll add magnets just to be sure. I put my sentiments down already. I'm going to just put down some Versamark, clear uh, watermark stamp pad, and then I'm going to take my putting them in the order I want. My Distress Ink. I have Picked Raspberry, Wilted Violet, Broken China, and Twisted Citron. I'm going to start with the Twisted Citron and put some on the left hand side. Then I'll move to Broken China and put that. And I'm just using the edge of it Not being too picky about where it's going. Then we'll go with Wilted Violet. So I'm starting here on the right side and letting it mingle with the violet. Then I'll go ahead and stamp. And it came out rainbowy. Isn't that pretty? So now I'm going to move this out of the way real quickly. And I have some holographic glitter embossing powder. Now I can't tell you the brand because I don't know it. Um, to save space in my RV because, you know, if I don't have room for it, come on, open envelope. I can't bring it with me. So I put some of the embossing powders in these little baggies. I label it and it helps with storage because these baggies take up much less room than the plastic or glass containers that everything's in. All right, I'll put that in the bag in a little bit. Let's get to the embossing. All right, heat from underneath so it doesn't blow all over the place. And I'll just heat it up so that glitter stays pat. Heat it all over. And you can see when it's done, it sort of the little glitter flakes attach themselves. Now when I think it's done, I'll just take it from the top. And there we go. So it's a little glittery. It is not over the top glittery. But I like it. So I'm going to work with that. 
I'm going to cut out some of these with the uh, dies. The just roll with it, I'm just going to cut straight, just because I wanted one straight. So I'm going to cut these out with the dies, and I'll get back with you. All right, now I am taking my cord and getting it out of the camera shot. Um, my Distress Ink, and I'm going to try to make this size little swatches of a couple of different colors. Now, I don't want all four colors on all four swatches. I just put my card there so I remember what size it is. I'm just going to do maybe two colors on each one, just very lightly. It's not going to be very big at all. So I'm going to go in fast motion and show you what I do. All right, now I'm taking a spray bottle and I'm just going to mist it. Yeah, it's more than a misting. And that's all I'm going to do. I mean, I could go more, do more layers. Is that the right size? That'll work. Um, but I'm going to keep it simple. All right, now I'm going to cut these down to two and a half by three and three quarters. And I'm going to take my, I'm going to take a piece here, cut it down to about half an inch. And I'm taking a corner rounder, using the smallest corner, I'm going to put it in there, cut once there, once there. So we have rounded corners. Grab a hole punch. Punch a hole in the top. Ah, that wasn't very straight. And I'll cut it about three quarters of an inch. So we'll do four of those. All right, let's put everything together. Um, I cut some double-sided adhesive foam into strips. And I cut them, let's see, about three and a quarter by three you could do three and a quarter by one eighth. And I think these are a little too big, two. So if I went all the way to the top, it really needs to be one and three quarters. I'm going to cut those down. Oops. There we go. I think I need another strip, but anyhow. Um, first of all, so I have a die that cuts out a frame with a stitch in the center. You can use any size die, but obviously you'll have to adjust what you have. It's two and a quarter by three and a half. I've already put one eighth of an inch double sided permanent adhesive on the back of this. I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. And I have cut some acetate to about two and an eighth and three and three eighths. So I'm going to put that down. So it just sort of fits inside my rectangle. 
Then I'm going to take my foam adhesive, put a long strip on the long side, and the short strips on the short side. That's perfect. It'll butt right up against the other one, which is exactly what you want. All right, before I pull off the top adhesive, get back on there. I don't want you off yet. I'm going to grab my powder. don't want to use too much, but I'm just putting it on, making sure that none of my elements will stick to the strips. All right, now I'll take off the the top layer. All right, put that aside. I'm going to grab one of my um, layers. Actually, hold on. I also have a piece of cardstock the exact same size, which is two and a half by three and three quarters. I am going to glue one onto the other, but I'm going to sandwich our little hanger thing inside. So I'll just put it on one layer center it, have the part with the hole sticking up, add glue to here, and just layer it. All right, now I will take, so I have sequins. Now most, all of these are very flat. They're actually donut shaped. I'm putting them in the center area. And then I will take my frame and layer my frame and make sure it is straight and center it. All right, now let's decorate. So this one has purple. I'm going to take my, it's got purple and green. I'm going to take my green, the guy with the green on it. He's going to go down at the bottom. And that's going to go at the top. And we're going to let that dry. So there is shaker number one. And I'll go ahead and speed through the rest of it because we'll make the other three just the same. And take a moment here to tell you if you want to purchase the Stampin' Zai set, don't forget to go to nottooshabby.com. I'll put the link in the description box below. It's a real fun set and I think you can get a lot of use out of this. And I always love to get dies with the stamps. So here are the finished uh, tags. I was going to add some sequins or some enamel dots on the side, and I just it just didn't need it. So I did tie some baker's twine at the top, and I had some iridescent baker's twine, which I tied in a bow at the bottom of that. I also made this bag behind you. It's just two pieces of cardstock, 8.5 by 11. I score two inches on both of the short sides and two inches on the long side and just cut it, um, inked it, and then used just some water with one of the stamps and just uh, let the Distress Oxide do its thing. So that's what I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed this. Please go visit me on my channel, Project 39 mini albums where I make, yes, mini albums and lots of other fun things. Thank you again for watching. Have a fabulous day.